What's up everybody, my name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna do our best to answer the question that you've been asking. Who makes the better storage system compatible radio charger? Or charger radio, or whatever you wanna call it. I gotta tell you, we have two offerings from the big boys, Milwaukee and the Walt. And I feel that they both took a different approach to a common solution. I'm gonna tell you all about it as soon as we come back from this word from our sponsor. We're gonna start off by giving you the lowdown on the two radios from the manufacturers themselves. The Packout Radio's product number is 2950-20. It's the M18 Packout Radio and Charger. It says our M18 Packout Radio and Charger is the ultimate job site sound system. And I want you to I want you to listen to that closely. Job site sound system. Fully compatible with all Packout storage system solutions. This 10-speaker sound system delivers you with 360-degree sound. The Milwaukee M18 job site radio delivers full-range connectivity with Bluetooth 4.2, an auxiliary input, and AM-FM radio. The Bluetooth speaker also features built-in M18 charger. This heavy-duty job site radio has a 2.1 amp hour USB output to keep your M18 batteries and mobile devices charged all day long. Sounds well-rounded. I have some takeaways once I have their stats side by side. I'm going to give you my thoughts on what I just read there. Let's move on to the Tufts system 2.0 radio and charger. Use the Tough System 2.0 radio and charger's Bluetooth wireless connection to stream music on the job site up to 100 foot. It has five full range speakers, including an active subwoofer and a passive bass resonator to create a loud and high quality sound accompanied by dynamic range control, allowing sound to be adjusted between indoor and outdoor settings. Use the app for full remote control. This radio has a color LCD screen and touchscreen capabilities. With an IP54 dust and water resistance rating, this radio can be used in harsh job site conditions. Charge any device with the USB fast charger and auxiliary ports. And use the Waltz 12 volt max, 20 volt max, or FlexVolt batteries for outstanding runtime compatible with any tough system storage unit. So even though this is a 2.0 radio, you can use this with the 1.0 or first gen tough system, which is pretty cool. I wanna get them side by side and show you the stats. So we can see that the Milwaukee Packout Radio has 10 speakers, 10 speakers, 360 degree sound for large and outdoor spaces which is made up of four tweeters and four full range speakers delivering clear highs and mids. Okay. It also has two subwoofers. Let's contrast that to the Waltz radio charger, which has, it says 55 watts, four full range speakers, one active subwoofer and one assisted bass resonator for loud high quality sound. Okay, up to 55 watts. We don't have a watt rating from what I'm seeing here for the Packout Radio. And quite frankly, I can't, my total recall memory is not allowing me to recall the watt rating for the Packout at the moment. Okay, but I wanted to go over that. The Milwaukee charges all M18 batteries and mobile devices with built-in 6-inch cord and USB 2.1 amp output. We're going to contrast that to the, the, the Walt, which works with and charges the Walt 12 volt, 20 volt, and flex volt batteries. Batteries not included. Okay, they also have USB charger, 2.1 amp hour, and auxiliary port. I believe they're identical from radio to radio, charger to charger, whatever you want to call it. Okay, AM, FM radio, 18 station presets, more durable antenna with the pack out. We do have features from the wall. It says, listen to live radio or stream music from your Bluetooth-enabled device. Doesn't tell us how many presets here in the features and specs. But if we go back over to the M18, you will see that we have equipped with Bluetooth 
4.2 streams audio wirelessly from over 100 feet. Milwaukee's touting customizable sound, built-in equalizer, adjustable bass, and treble. I would assume that there is an equalizer built into the Tough system radio just from the previous 1.0 gen. There was a treble and bass setting, but they're not touting fully customizable here other than dynamic range control for indoor and outdoor environments. So it doesn't say fully customizable, but there is a dynamic range control. Water and debris resistant on the pack outside. They do not give us a specific rating. The wall does give us a specific IP54 rating. So you have a you have an expectation of what that water and debris durability or resistance level will be if you go and check out what IP54 is rated for. Easily accessible controls, battery cord, and on by onboard storage, and all accessible when stacked. I will say that when we stack the Tough System radio, I believe this compartment here becomes unaccessible. We have a one-year warranty on the Milwaukee. Let's scroll down. DeWalt's offering three-year limited warranty, one-year free service, and a 90-day money-back guarantee. DeWalt has it on the warranty. More ways to listen. Built-in aux for when radio and Bluetooth are not available. We have also USB charger and an aux port on the DeWalt. So both have that aux port. We talked about their speaker offerings. Water sealed storage compartment, keep your belongings and mobile devices safe and dry, which we have no, there's no IP rating. So we don't know exactly what that means. Pack out design rubber over mold protects interior components, making this speaker impact resistant. We do have tough system compatible <laughs> over on the DeWalt side. Onboard bottle opener for convenience on and off the job site. I don't believe there is an onboard bottle opener with the DeWalt. If we look at our specification height, we have 16.2 inches on the Milwaukee. Height on the DeWalt is 15.21 inches. Weight is 23 pounds on the Packout. It is a handful. Tool, tool weight on DeWalt Tough System Radio, 15.2 pounds. Length is 22 inches on Packout. Width, their, their, their specs are a little... They're not the, they're they're the same, just they're using different terminology in how they use them. You know, width is twenty one point six four five inches, so that would be the length on the pack out. Here's the deal: I have two points that I'd like to make about these radios. Both of them sound awesome. With all all respect to both, here's the point of contention i feel that milwaukee has approached their radio charger as a radio and sound solution first charger second dewalt wanted to give you a very good radio it sounds awesome from what we've heard sounds awesome they wanted to give you a radio solution to a charger does that make any sense? You're able to get more charging duties done with the DeWall. You're able to charge their entire battery platform with their radio charger or charger radio. On the flip side, Milwaukee has a sound or radio sound system solution with the ability to charge their M18 platform. Okay? I feel that... For the job site, if you're exclusively DeWalt and you have their 12-volt platform, their flex-volt platform, their 20-volt max platform, DeWalt has done a better job of giving you a radio charger solution or a charger radio solution. On the flip side, Milwaukee has everybody on the job site jamming, okay? They got 10 speakers. They have... Four, four mids, four highs, and then they got two subwoofers. The problem is with that charger radio or radio charger solution, you're only able to power your M18 batteries. Now, as you'll know, right now, we'll put links down in the description below. Both radios are $299. Okay. 
The Pack Out Radio is shipping now. Here's the deal. If you were to shop online, you're going to find the DeWalt Tough System Radio at $2.99 already. But if you've been to our leaked Black Friday deals at the Home Depot, you will know that that DeWalt Tough System Radio, the 2.0, okay, it's brand new. They've already discounted it to $199. I think that if you're a Milwaukee Packout user, I can't imagine that you would buy the DeWalt Tough System Radio. And vice versa, if you're using Tough System, I can't imagine you'd buy Packout Radio. I feel that these are radio charger solutions for the storage solution. They're, you're not going to... This isn't one of those things where you might buy a Milwaukee hammer drill to put in your Tough System box. This is something you want to integrate. So leave it down in the comment section below. Would you consider buying the other brand radio even though you're on a specific storage solution also let us know what you think who has the better radio charger solution dewalt or milwaukee or is it a charger radio solution do you think either company fell down in the implementation of their charger radio do you think that you'd like to see pack out radio charge the m12 batteries do you think both companies should have added more usb ports what do you think the companies could have done better with that i want to say i appreciate each and every one of you being here thanks a lot everybody we'll see you all on the next one. Oh yeah don't forget to hit that like button on the way out it's free for you to do and it helps out the channel video's over but i know you want more so this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.